guys, I'm Mike Dixon. Stayed out last night in the, the storm. Now I'll show you the kit I've taken out and the kit that I'm going to start taking out until it gets a bit warmer. Okay guys, so this is the DD tarp, three meters by three meters. As you can see, it's rather large. Um, it's just because of the really um, bad rainstorm we had last night. We needed something with a lot more protection. Got my hammock and my homemade under blanket, which we'll go over later. It's my tripod with my rucksack. And as you can see on the floor there is my cooking system, which we'll go over as well later. So we're going to come and have a look underneath the tarp and have a look at my under blanket. This is made from an old down sleeping bag. It was a free season down sleeping bag. And you can see there's the top cord and I've made all my own little adjusters with um, pull cord toggles. It's all elasticated as well. This is paracord and then you've got elastic bits that attach to the tarp and elastic bits. They're just um, like a suspension system. You've got an attachment system here to pull it up snug. Moving further down, you've got exactly the same system here, except for on the bottom of the bag. I've got a bit of elastic where I put a hole through so I can pull it tight around the hammock. And that's basically it really. So looking at my rucksack suspension on a tripod, what I carry with me is a carabiner with pre-tied knot in the middle on a bit of paracord so I can tie it around trees and make this tripod system. And also you can see there I've got my water bag. So now I'll take a brief look at my stove before the in-depth look I'll do later. As I've got a brew and breakfast on the go. There's the rest of the kit. I'm running a MEFS cooking system with a cheap Trangia type um, MEFS holder, MEFS stand. You see the mess burner going in there. I've also got a system that allows me to use green heat in there, which I'll run through later. Effective system. All stacks into my um, billy can. Everything. So no need to take up any more space than needed. Right, so I've hired up one side. So you can see straight into my camp. You've got a clear view straight in then, no obstructions by the tarp. Now I'm going to show you what I have to sleep in, and what I used to sleep with, and how I keep warm in the middle of the night. So we're going to have a look now. So guys, the kit I use is Army Issue. Arctic tent booties. I would have used my Afghan BCB suit, um, the full suit, but I've got a new uh, jacket to try out and I want to use this on its own. This is made by Keeler. I'll put the details up. It's primal loft insulation, uh, it's very warm for what it is. It's got a ripstop layer of Pertex on the outside and I'm going to uh, tell you a bit more about this later. <coughs> Excuse me. Next I've got my wall blanket to use over the top of me so uh, I'll go through how I use it. The next is my Army Issue 58 pound water bottle. And what we do with this is we fill it with hot water at the end of the night before we get in. We stick it in our hammock before we get in, around the tent booties and the jacket, which then warms up everything, warms up the under blanket. It heats the layer in between the hammock and the under blanket, so you've got a warm layer there. 
trapped. This is an old army trick. Um, I learned it from a Canadian uh, armed forces bloke. It's a very good trick to use. And I uh, definitely recommend you use it. It'll definitely keep you warm. And I'll show you how we use it. Right guys, so then what happens is obviously this has been tucked up in my jacket and these. So these are warm now. And I've got my blanket. So just put that down there. I'll take my boots off and put them on the log. I'll stick the booties on. I'll then take the other one off. Tent booty on. We excuse the train. Right, so we get the water bottle. This is the trick. You stick it up by your feet, in between them, and you pull the hammock round you. You then get your blanket. Tuck it under the end of your feet. And then the water bottle goes back under your legs. Then I can bring my Bring it up to make a balaclava and then crawl into my blanket and then that's me for the night and it's very warm I slept out in it last night so uh, just another couple of ideas for you for your hammock campers and these are great bits of kit they're surplus easy to come by and cheap so uh, definitely a recommended buy you can also get the mountaineering down booties which is a good idea but these work and coupled with this a hot water bottle <coughs> excuse me you've got a very warm night's sleep and in the morning this speeds up cooking so you pour your warmish water because it will still be warm by the time you get up. Because your fuel's cold, it takes less time still because it's already halfway there warm and it's been kept warm by your body. So uh, we're gonna start going through the kit I've brought out and uh, we'll go over it then.